Hey guys, Rick at Healing Field Farm. So let's talk about uses for goats on the homestead. Um, there's multi purposes that a goat can do on the homestead um, for you. And so we'll just go down and go through them. Um, they'll help clean, clean up your land, uh, clean out brush. They love to, uh, you know, graze on the end of branches. Uh, they'll eat the leaves, they'll go through weeds, um, they'll clean out fields, um, mow it down, you can even put them in your front lawn, and and they'll, you know, mow that all down for you. So they're very versatile to help, uh, you know, work in your pasture. Maybe you have a wooded area that you need cleaned out that you want to use for something else down the road. So that's a great use um, of the animal, you know, on your homestead. Uh, you can get goat meat from them. You can raise meat goats and uh, you know butcher them, fill your freezer, and you know eat the meat. You can get milk from them, and then you can make cheese from that milk, yogurt from that milk. You can make soaps, lotions. Um, you know you can obviously drink the milk, and then you can even put it in. With your pigs pigs feed if you have pigs they'll they'll eat it um, and that's good nutritional value for them so uh, you can tan the hides uh, for leather uh, use for leather products I know it's probably not a, a big <clears throat> big thing but you know it, if you're gonna butcher an animal you know you don't want to waste anything that, uh, so you know if you can make a use out of that I mean you make leather aprons leather gloves stuff like that so you know lots of uses there um, they're f fertilizer you know they're uh, manure it, it's very rich it, it uh, you know they're eating all that grass and stuff and breaking it down and and then it's coming out the other end there and it's great in gardens and for pastures and stuff uh, you know just flower boxes stuff like that so you know it, it's a pretty pretty good fertilizer you're feeding them they're eating you know off your land to begin with and then they're just putting it back out there so helping to enrich that soil to grow the next generation of um, you know grass or field or even garden or whatever to come out better so <clears throat> their poop is also um, a great fire starter and it's kind of gross you don't want to grab a handful of poop and throw it in the wood stove or anything but it, it is I mean if you think about it they're eating you know the grasses and the dry leaves and the the tips of the pine trees and and such like that so that's all you know flammable material that's coming out um, the other end there so and it, and you can use it as a fire starter um, you know security on the homestead another good point they have very loud bleats so maybe you're in your house and you hear them middle of the night well then something's probably out there that you need to attend to so um and you know it's security you could have a fox or something trying to get in your chicken coop but the goats see it you know they're letting you know so that's another valuable benefit of having a goat um, companionship they just are really really great animals they're uh you know loving they all have their own personality and uh they, they definitely make you know, living on a farm or homestead a lot more fun and enjoyable. Yeah, sometimes they give you headaches like like a child or a puppy, but um, overall, you know, they're great animals to have around all the time. Um, they can be used to haul, um, haul stuff at your homestead. You can hook up a little cart to them. Uh, they can generally, you know, haul twice their weight, but, you know, maybe <clears throat> you have horses or something in a further pasture and you can hook up a little cart and you know the goat can haul the hay for you uh, they, they can also be pack animals and uh, they can generally carry I think around 25 pounds um, you know it's it's not a very common practice anymore but it is something that they can be used for so um, yoga is is a big thing yoga with goats it is a huge uh, crowd pleaser type thing right now um, you know it it makes yoga more enjoyable for people i know a lot of different places are doing it and you know the goats will climb the people while they're doing the yoga and it, it's quite entertaining to watch sometimes and it seems like everybody's having a great time 
and I know a business who started it a couple of years ago and they've been sold out time after time again when, they, when they're doing it so you know that's a great little side hustle you could do with goats um, you can get uh, wool from them wool fiber um, some breeds uh, Angora cashmere Pigora you know they you can uh, spin it into yarn and crochet and all that stuff so a lot of people think goats and they don't think of wool but that's definitely something that they do produce and you you can you know knit sweaters and afghans or you know crochet just about anything so th that is another benefit that goats provide that uh, maybe a lot of people don't really ever think about so if you want to make profits with your goats from your homestead or small farm we talked a little bit about what you can make out of the milk um, but you can you know sell the soaps you sell the lotions you could sell the raw milk uh, you could pasteurize the milk and sell it that way um, cheese yogurt uh, you know you can sell the wool um, you can rent them out may, may a lot of people will you know rent out their herd to go someplace and clean out an area of field and and you know that's great you're making a little money they're being fed basically for free and you're just hauling them back and forth so um, that, that's also another option uh, you know if, if you have goats and you're familiar with goats um, you can teach classes on raising goats uh, whether it be like maybe an online thing or you invite people to the farm and teach them you know at the amount they're supposed to eat and the kind of plants that you want to keep away from them and maybe even walk them through the birthing processes you know how to milk a goat stuff like that so there's a lot of interest out there and people will um, will, will pay for a class like that so that, that's another great option to make some money off of um, goats and then you know look into field trips maybe you have a nice farm and you know you talk to your local schools and you know a couple dollars a kid and you have them come out and you give them a tour and you let them get to know your goats and <clears throat> maybe your other farm animals at the same time you know that's great learning for the next generation and also puts a little money in your pocket so so these are just some thoughts i had hope you guys have found this informative and interesting uh, please we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and follow us on this journey and thank you we'll have a good day